Hey guys, hope you're still doing okay. I'm back again. Um, I had a shop today. I had gotten an email from Marcia, Mar Marcia, like I said, I know I don't pronounce names correctly, uh, Marcia Taylor. Um, I'll put her name here. Anyway, I received an email from her saying that she had sent me a box and for my challenge. And, okay, I wasn't expecting this size box. You guys, it is so huge. Look at this. And it's heavy. It's a heavy box. So, I opened it to save time. But I haven't looked in it. I haven't took anything out of it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it and we'll see what it is together I think this is the biggest box I've ever gotten it's such a blessing hmm. <laughs> okay she had it taped here oh my goodness Oh my goodness. Can you guys see what I'm seeing? Okay. Marsha Taylor makes it a lot easier. My entry into your two year challenge. YouTube. Your two year in YouTube and birthday challenge. She doesn't do videos. Um. Let's let's get into this. Let's see. Magnet for friendship door. This is just kind of giving me an idea of what she, what she let's just get into it. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that pretty? It's uh 20 pieces of adhesive borders. Okay, this may be a Look at this. There's two of these. Oh, wow. There's two of these. Look at the butterflies. Aren't they pretty? These will be pretty on scrapbook pages. This one has birds and clocks. There's two of those. hanging on to my shirt. Two of those. These, there's two of these eggs. I think these are irises. I think. Anyway, they're pretty. There's four of the clock hands. I love that. And there's two of these leaves. Now tell me those won't be pretty on a scrapbook page. They will be gorgeous. Or even on a, a journal page. Music strips. That is so pretty. I'm not going to fight with this putting it back in because I can do that later. Oh wow, she sent me stamps. She sent me a big flower one. Look at that. Have a whole lot of stamps. So this is so cute. Look at that. That's a wreath. These are going to be fun to use. This one says, best wishes, good luck. Oh, it's words. You can stamp out it, best wishes and good luck is what it says. It's a stamp that it's all it says is good luck and best wishes, but hey, 
and she said, look at this. Smile. And this one says, friend, a person whom one knows well and is fond of, two, an ally, I think that's what it says, ally, supporter, or sympathizer, number three, loves you for who you are, four, unconditionally accepts you. That's true. Palm tree. Great tidings of peace to all the earth. Look at that. I love it. Look at this woman. These are going to be so much fun to color and stamp out. I think this one. Oh, these are such nice ones. Look at that. Oh, um, okay. Oh, here's some more. Now, how's that go? It's, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Yes. A witch. Love you, Mom. This one says, Happy Valentine's. So that's going to come in handy for Valentine's Day. Hearts. Those will be cute. Okay. Little bunny rabbit. Oh, look at the little duck. Some candy corn. I can use this. A shopping bag with roses. Oh wow, look at this one you guys. Hollywood. Look at the black cat. <laughs> that is so nice. Let me some more hearts. Let me get the stamps out and we'll just take everything out here so that don't you love them? That'll make a cute card, especially for my granddaughters. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, this, she says, this bag is for Hayden, Marsha. Okay, we'll, we'll do this one by itself for Hayden. And she sent me, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's, let's slow down. She sent me some... Magazine, food ma uh, magazine pictures for pocket letters. Look at this, you guys. I just did a, a food pocket letter with a friend not too long ago, and I didn't have a whole lot. I didn't even think about doing this. That is so cool. This would be good in journals, too. This makes me hungry just looking at it. Oh, my goodness. Yummy. <laughs> I told my daughter, make me an apple pie. Yeah, certain times of years, I crave, crave stuff. You guys, look at mushrooms. My son-in-law makes stuffed mushrooms, and they are so good. I got to get him to make me some. He's real good about making me stuff if I want him to. Of course, I do furnish the items. This is really cool. This will be good in, in pocket letter or journaling. 
And, and that's something else I'm hoping to get into is some journaling. Uh, making some journals, that is. Look at all the different flavors of tea. I can gain weight looking at that one. Avocados are good for you. Here's a recipe. Fried pork dumplings. That might be good. Cinnamon bun apple pie. May try that. There's some recipes here. Uh, bagels. Look at that. Thank you. Those are cool. And I might even uh, try the recipes before I use them in anything. You know, I'm going to do a, a journal for my, my uh, granddaughter that lives uh, in Waukegan, Illinois. Her and her husband... They haven't been, uh, Sunday will be their first year anniversary, uh, that they've been married. They've been together for quite a while, though. Anyway, um, I'm going to do her a, um, cookbook, uh, recipe journal. So, I may use some of the recipes in that. So, I'm going to try and keep all this together. Okay, let's do this one. Let's see. For Jackie and Hayden, I hope you enjoy doing these craft projects together. Your friend, Marsha Taylor. Sorry, my brain isn't, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's working just fine. Okay. Oh, look at that. Hayden will love that. It's a wind chime that she can color. She loves coloring stuff. A gingerbread house. Oh, she's going to be so happy when she comes over. Rhinestone by Number Kit. Look at that. She's going to have so much fun. She will be spending the night with me again, probably on Friday night. She's going to enjoy that. Thank you. I may just have to do another video so that she can open her stuff. Okay. And then... This one says, for Jackie and Hubby and Hayden. Mm -hmm. Warm winter wishes. Ooh, hot chocolate. Thank you. I like the envelopes, too. She sent each of us a hot chocolate. And she made envelopes. What a super ideal. I'll be doing this for my grandkids in Florida. And you know how to get straight to the heart. Look at, she sent M&M's. You know what? I have never tried the caramel. So that's going to be fun to try. And we love the peanut butter ones. That is... Yummy. <laughs> I can taste them already. Thank you. Thank you. Down here. Okay. Die cut flowers, leaves from left, from felt, hybrid, hybrid, Car Carmelia, Carmelia. Y'all know I don't pronounce words. Never have. Okay. I won't keep taking time to try because my video is going to be way long anyway. So, let's just cut. Probably could have slipped it off. Oh, how pretty. Look at these. 
Perfect. Perfect. Those are so cute. Okay. Whoops. I don't think you guys can see that, but let me cover it up just in case. So we got homemade flowers. Oh, how pretty. I love those. I love flowers. And then we have this bag. Isn't that pretty? I don't have one like this one. Journal. I see something. Flip book or something. Let's see. I'm glad you labeled these because this is going to help me a lot. This explains how she did it. So I'll read that. If anybody wants once has any questions about this, I will answer it. Pineapples. I don't have that one. That's awesome. This is the butterflies. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. There's a whole bunch. Blue and brown and purple. And the washi. And then, what, look at that. Isn't that a pretty envelope? Oh, there's some itty bitty butterflies. Some little ones, very small ones. I won't try going through all of them. They look like those look like they might be the same. She punched these out for me, and here's some more. Oh, look at that! This punched out of like a newspaper or a magazine. You know, these are going to be cool either on scrapbooking or journaling. Either one. Oh. I didn't put them. Okay, I'll put them. And here's some more butterflies. Look at this envelope. She made the envelopes. There's some little butterflies that match the bigger ones that I just showed. Aren't they pretty? Purple, lavender, and like a teal color. This says sharp pins, it says caution, sharp pins, four filled spool, four empty spools, spools tutorial and inspiration from YouTube. Oh look, it's ribbon. There's that one. I love the spools. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then she gave me some empty ones. These are going to come in handy. I can use these for um, a, a, a template to make some more. This is such a neat idea for storing my ribbon. If y'all saw my ribbon, I don't have a whole lot, but what I do have is a mess. So, I'm going to put this back on there. I don't think Hayden will get a hold of it, but if she does, she'll know it's sharp. She sent me a tablet to go on the refrigerator for keeping notes. That is, I use these for making grocery lists. Oh, look at that. I can use these in my planner. And I just got a new planner today. Um, it's in one of my videos, that I, my haul videos. Um, from Walmart. It's the Walmart haul. Some bling. I haven't 
haven't seen these lately at my Dollar Tree. So I'm glad I got these. Thank you. They come in handy. I don't have any of these. Oh my goodness. This is going to be fun. I do have pictures of Hayden coloring and drawing. She is quite an artist. And then she sent me a calendar. I can either put this on my refrigerator or I'll even work in my uh, planner for notes and stuff. Okay. Totally spoiled me. It's a good thing I don't cry easy because if I did, I would totally be in tears. Okay, here's her IC card. Her first one ever, also her first altered paper clip <laughs> to use in a mixed media project or to hang up for display with the attached bub pin. Hope you can use it in your craft projects. You bet I can. Sorry, you guys, I'm kind of paying attention to my husband outside, too. Afraid he's going to get himself hurt. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? She made me this card. And look at this paper clip pen. Isn't that pretty? Let me take it out. You can see it better. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Can you see it okay? I want to make sure you can because it is really pretty. It's got a feather. Wow. Okay. Created by Marsha. It's got her address. Her birthday is November 16th. She does have a YouTube, but she rarely uses the account. Um, her style varied. So, that's pretty. I have a card, says Jackie. Early wishes for a very happy birthday, your crafting friend, Marsha Taylor. My first birthday card. Thank you. Let's see. Two additional Christmas ornaments. Choking hazard small pieces keep out of reach of children. The mason jar shaker ornament was made from a kit. The round tag ornament I used tag dies from MFT stamps and cut and glued many layers. Oh wow. Look at that. Love it. Now I got ornaments for my small tree. I'm getting a small tree this year. I had to get rid of my other one. So, but it was about 10 years old, so it was time. Here's the other one. Mason jar. I love shakers. I don't have very many of them either. So that's cool. Okay, this one. Choking hazard, keep out of reach of young children, glitter, and small pieces. Your Christmas ornament was another first. Well, many first. I used many products that were new to me to make this ornament. The learning process and inspiration for this ornament came from YouTube. Happy Birds Glitter Nest. 
Hope you like it. Your friend from Florida, Marsha. Happy Birds. That's the YouTube channel, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. That's what she says. Happy Birds uh, from YouTube. Happy Birds. Got to open this. Where? Oh. oh, no. Okay. I am not going to open it because I do not want to tear my package up. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? When Christmas is over, I can hang this on my uh, friendship wall. Yep, I'm doing a wall outside my craft room. It's going to have a lot of pretty stuff hanging on it, I hope, from all my friends. So, okay. I'm trying to keep track of this. I hope I do all right on it. If not, y'all correct me. A magnet. It says Florida. Isn't that pretty? Oh, sorry for the glare. I like that. Washi tape to coordinate with the four entries into handmade flowers. Look at the envelopes. She makes the envelopes. They're so pretty. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the washi tape. There's more. I can tell you right now, I don't have that one, or that one, I don't have that one, I think I have something similar to this one, but I don't think it's identical, and I definitely do not have that one, how pretty. Are pretty. Let's see. Four small die cut and round roses die cut from fabric. I appreciate, let's see, I pretended to help prevent unraveling like some of the butterflies. I am including this box. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I like those roses. I won't try taking these out. You can I think you can see them. This one you're not gonna be able to see, so look at that. Some greenery. There's some leaves and vines. There's another one in there. I want to get it out. I know I'm making this a long video. Sorry, you guys. But she sent me so much. And I wanted to make sure that you guys could share it and see it all. She made the bag. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that trim. These are perfect colors too, because my hallway is um, like a beige color. So this is going to look really pretty. Thank you so much. Okay. Tag. Okay. And die cut sunflowers with a coordinating napkin for your projects. 
a lightly tacked, see, I lightly tacked the flowers to the cardstock backing with tiny handmade glue dots, homemade glue dots. Coordinating washi tape in the pineapple embossed envelope. There we go. Aren't those gorgeous? More flowers. So pretty. <laughs> and here's more flowers. Here's a napkin. Look at that butterfly. Isn't that pretty? My goodness. Look at that. I'm loving these flowers, you guys. I'm loving them. They're so pretty. Another napkin. There may be a napkin in... Um, oh, okay. Never mind. Let's see. Did I miss any? I did. I did. In the first bag. That goes with the first ones I showed you. Look at that. That is such a neat idea. So pretty. I love the dies. These are awesome. That's it, you guys. Um, I'm going to pause, figure this up. I'll be right back. Okay. Marsha, I tried figuring this up. I'm not real good at figuring stuff up. I'm sorry. I, I'll, um, but if I figured right, you have 18 entries into my challenge. If I'm wrong... Uh, please leave me a comment so I can fix it because I'm new at the, the point thing so just correct me if I'm wrong I gave the flowers I gave you 45 points uh, 5 points for the magnet 5 points for the tag 15 points for the Christmas ornaments that's 5 points each and the IC card was five points. And you know what? You got another five points for the birthday card. So that's 19 entries into my challenge. Um, as I'm going through and putting things away, if I see something I missed, I will add it. Um, but in the meantime, if you counted different than me, please let me know. Um, and I will correct it. But anyway, my videos have been quite long, so I'm going to get off of here. I hope you guys have a great day. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And thank you for all the old ones that are still with me. And leave me a comment. God bless. Keep smiling. And check out my um, challenge. It will be in the description below, the video link, so you can go and watch it. So, I'm going to get off of here. Bye, y'all.